Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing the monthly reading for Leos for the month of October 2017. So I'm going to start with our uh, theme for the month that gives you kind of an overall um, broad theme for the month of October. Then we'll be getting into a little bit um, more information from your angels and guides. And then we're going to be focusing on your life purpose, your career, your work this month. And I have a beautiful bonus for you, which is quick feng shui tips for work. And these are good for whether you work in a home office or you work outside of the home in corporate. So let's go ahead and get started. Your theme for the month is Six of Earth. The Earth cards are all about how you make your money, what you need to do to be grounded here on Earth. And this is about gifts of time, gifts of money. Um, it can be also, um, you know, putting forth some effort, that type of thing. And it's a good flow. It's a, um, you know, essentially a flow towards you is what I'm seeing around this. And this can even be like new career opportunities, things that are coming to you that are going to be good for you, right? It's, um, it's positive. Uh, the other piece that can be coming in with the Six of Earth is a balancing of funds. So where maybe you're getting a loan or you're able to pay off some of your debt. And so I see more of a balancing around your money piece of things this month. Yay, we like that, right? So that's your theme for the month. Let's see what else we have going for you this month. Um, a little bit of fire and then some more earth. We've got the Ace of Fire coming in for you. So the fire cards are all about passion and action. And this again is about an exciting opportunity. So we have the opportunity piece of things coming in for career here. Now we've got another exciting opportunity and more career advancement coming in with the Ace of Fire. So these two together, I feel like really um, bode well for your career in the month of October and good things happening. Um, part of this can be around you needing to make a shift or a change and it's really a push or a nudge from the universe to change your life. And it's not like change your life six months from now, change your life next year. It's like change your life now, okay? Um, so it's really, you might be feeling a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure to do something different uh, in the month of October. And then we've got the Knight of Earth coming in. And again, Earth cards are all about how you make your money. They're very grounding energy. Um, and this is all about like needing to really buckle down and get some things done, okay? So you may be summertime, you were playing a little bit more. September, you're trying to get back into the swing of things. This month, you got to buckle down and get some things done, okay? And you're not the only sign that's getting this energy. It's been coming in for other signs as well. So you're not the only ones that have to work, Leos. There's other ones that do as well. Um, and it is about honoring your commitments. So the things that you committed to doing, like, go ahead and do that. Take care of those things, all right? And then we've got the nine of earth coming in. So if you do that, if you take care of those things, we've got this nine of earth coming in saying that you can then enjoy life's little luxuries, right? Then you can take advantage of the beautiful energy that's coming in. And um, it's also gonna be important for you in the month of October to be spending some quiet time by yourself, okay? So the meditation piece of things, going within, is going to also be important in the month of October. Um, this card also bodes well if you are looking at starting a business or you are self-employed. This is about successful self-employment, so that's a beautiful omen for you if that's something that you've been looking at doing. So really, they're really focusing a lot around your career this month. This whole, all of these cards were all related to that, right? So let's see what else is coming in for you around your life purpose. Oh, you're throwing cards at me. <laughs> okay, I got it. Oh my God. Too funny. All right, let's see what we got going here. Okay, so you are a healer. 
I'm guessing that many of you do know this about yourselves, that you are a healer. You have this energy and this part of your life purpose is meant to be a healer. Now the healing can come in many, many different ways, right? It can come, um, you can be a healer in a lot of different ways. Um, almost anything that you do can be healing, right? Um, so just know that you can weave that into whatever you're already doing. And you're getting more sensitive. So the sensitivity card is coming in to let you know that you're not imagining things. Um, you may be more sensitive to foods. You may be more sensitive to energies where there's certain places like you can't shop anymore or you can't even go to certain places anymore. It's just like, oh, it just doesn't feel right. So, um, you know, take that to heart. Follow the what you're feeling around things, okay? So making sure that you're following what you're feeling. And then you do have a book in you as well. So I'm in the process of writing a book, as many of you may know, and you also are meant to be an author. So you have this book inside of you, and they're saying, make the time to write it, okay? They're gonna be pushy about this, because the world needs to know what you are sharing and there's certain people that need the information that you have. So sit down and start writing. That's what I've got for you for the month of October. Stay tuned for the next video that's going to give you some quick feng shui tips for work as well as more information about how you can work further with me if that's something that you feel resonating with. For now, relax, have fun, and enjoy your month. Much love to you. Aloha, it's Kim Jalima Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here with your quick feng shui tip. This month is a related to work. So um, one of the things that I experience, or I see a lot of people experiencing, is having a difficulty separating their work from their home life, right? And or finding that balance, right? So sometimes people are just working way too much. They don't have a lot of free time. They're not taking a lot of free time. They're not making that happen. Um, or they find that their home life um, seeps into their work. And so they're trying to work, they're trying to focus, and they've got interruptions from um, family, from friends, from children, whatever it might be. So I'm going to give you a couple quick feng shui tips today for um, creating a separation and more of a balance for your work and home life. So one of the things that I experience is um, oftentimes people work from home or you may bring work home to do there and there needs to be a separate space for you to be able to do that work. If you have a separate office or a physical room that you can use for that purpose, that is awesome. Do that. If you don't, um, create a space that's as far away from the bedroom as possible because the bedroom is where you want to be able to rest and relax and sleep and so we don't want our work infiltrating that space because then you'll end up thinking about it all night long, right? And not be able to sleep as well, okay? Um, the other thing that you can do if you don't have, um, let's say maybe you have a studio apartment or something where your bedroom and everything is all in one area, you can use a screen to divide, you know, to really set up a separation. You could even hang a scarf from the ceiling, right, to create that sort of visual separation from your work and your home life or your downtime, right? Uh, the last thing that you could potentially do is just cover it up, right? Um, and that would be like if you, um, and I, I don't recommend leaving your laptop or or things that you're doing for work anywhere close to your bed or your bedroom, I recommend like closing them up and putting them aside, right? Uh, so if you can somehow cover it up, even if you lay like a, a scarf or a blanket or something over the top of it, that's going to help you know that, okay, work is done for today. Now it's me time. Now it's play time, right? Uh, so those are my quick feng shui tips for you for work this month. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji. If you feel a connection with me and want to take your life to the next level, I'm here for you. I have a number of different opportunities available for you to help you find your Fiji, whatever that might be for you. The first opportunity is I offer private angel readings. This is a way for you to connect with me privately, ask your personal questions, and receive guidance from your own spiritual team, your angels, your guides. We can also connect with loved ones that have transitioned through these readings. And it just gives you really concrete, actionable steps that you can take 
to move through whatever challenge you're experiencing in, in your life. So I like to say that we get kind of the three C's with that. You get comfort, clarity, and confidence to move forward in your life. If you are interested in angel reading and have not had a private reading with me before, you can use the coupon code ANGEL20, and that's 20, to save 20% on your first reading with me. I offer readings in a number of lengths, everything from 15 minutes to two hour readings. So there's lots of different options for you around that. The second thing that I offer you, if you would like even bigger shifts in your life, are feng shui consultations. And feng shui, uh, as you may have seen my video on, is really about creating an environment that energetically supports you in the things that you wanna draw into your life. So for example, I had a client that um, was starting a business and she had money coming in, but it seemed to be going out just as fast as it was coming in. We did some feng shui work within her space and essentially creating an adjustment to call the money back in for her. And uh, lo and behold, within, I believe it was within about a month, she received a phone call letting her know that she had $100,000 that she did not even know existed that was coming back into her life. So it's really super powerful. And the thing I love about feng shui is it works very, very fast to shift things. So whether you have health issues, want to change your career, or are having questions around that, financial things, or relationships. I have so many different things that I can offer to you related to feng shui and creating that environment to support the things that you want to draw into your life. And I also have a coupon code for feng shui. So if you want to save $50 on any one of my feng shui consultations, use the coupon code postcard. I have a number of postcards that I hand out and so I'm giving you sharing that code with all of you in virtual land as well. And then the third thing that I'm offering to you currently is a VIP dates. And this is an opportunity to really dive deep. This is a three hour session with me where we will really dive deep into whatever is going on for you. So it might be a particular project that you're working on, a specific challenge that you're having in your life, um, or you may be a, a business owner or someone that works for a living, right, that needs to attract more clients. I have a beautiful system that I can help you create that is essentially a client attraction funnel. It funnels people to you easily and effortlessly. It's a lot of fun and uh, I've done it. So I know that it works. It, it is a beautiful system that I can help you create. And the VIP days, again, I have a couple different offerings for that, but it really it will give you some concrete steps to take, specific things for you to do, and then you actually even get three follow-up emails with me to continue asking questions and to continue gaining guidance for that 30-day um, period following our session. So beautiful offerings that I have for you if you feel a connection with me, if you would like to experience more in life, if you would like to take your life to the next level, uh, check out the links below and I would love and look forward to working with you more closely in the future. Much love.